welcome back to the Kitagawa Europe Focus Channel. My name is Hamish Walker. Joining me today is Sophia, and we also have Kobo the robot, who is a UR5E Universal robot. So today we're going to be demonstrating some of the latest Gripper products released by Kitagawa Japan. Excellent, and I can see that Kobo is very happy with his new attachments. So as you can see, we have the quick plate change gripper already fitted that allows you to manually change the faceplate of the gripper uh, for quick uh, changes in between different work pieces. Manually changed? So does that mean that I'm going to get to work together with Kobo? Yes, if you could use this C-spanner here to remove the faceplate of the gripper currently attached to Kobo and fit this faceplate here. Hang on, you want me to literally rip Kobo's face off? Oh, let's go. I've got this. I'll be as fast as I can, Kobo. Okay. Phew. So Safar is going to remove the two-draw gripper faceplate, which is most suited to handling irregular work pieces. Thank you, Hamish. And she's going to swap to a three-draw gripper faceplate designed for round work pieces. As you can see, the process is easy and fast. There we go, Kobo. <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> Cheers for that. So Kitagawa's range of different faceplates allows you to swap from a two-jaw to a three-jaw, as just demonstrated. Uh, we also have a larger range of faceplates to suit larger work pieces. Great, so what next are Kobo and I going to demonstrate? So here we have the YS modular system. Uh, that we demonstrated in a previous video mm -hmm. uh, with a variety of different work holding attached. So what I want you to demonstrate today is how easy it is for Kobo to handle these work pieces. Okay, great. Let's start off with a shaft shaped work piece in the collet chuck. Great Kobo, perfect picking and placing. Next, let's take on the plate faced work piece in the three jaw chuck. Great, so we'll need a faceplate set up for the large diameter. Thanks, Hamish. Off you go. Pretty slick stuff, Kobo. Well done. Right, next, let's have a go with this irregular part. Thank you, Hamish. There we go. Kobo, hit it. Well done, Safar, and that really great demonstration on how quick and easy it is to change these gripper heads. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Those clever guys at Kitagawa have also released a way to convert your standard gripper head to give it quick change capabilities, as we're demonstrating here. So if we take a closer look at this new gripper, you can see it is a standard NTS 309 gripper with a special set of base jaws that allows you to rotate the top jaw through 90 degrees, giving you the opportunity to grip up to four different diameters with one set of jaws. Wow, that's pretty cool for a robot. But how does Kobo and Kitagawa know what diameters the robot needs to grip? So Kitagawa can supply hard jaws uh, made specifically to the diameter you require of them. We can also supply soft jaws for you to form yourself. Okay, how's about Kobo and I give you a demonstration of that? Sure, I think Kobo's ahead of you here though. <laughs> Okay, Kobo, let's set up with a small diameter pick and place on the three jaw chuck. So, let's pull on these plungers. Click. Click. And click, ready to go. Speedy. Okay, and now let's set you up with the larger diameter. Click, click, click. Super slick, ready to pick. Okay. 
The uh, quick jaw change gripper really is very quick and easy uh, when changing in between different work pieces. You know what, Hamish? I have always been skeptical about these sort of robot thingies in my niche machinist world. But with Kitagawa's new world, task-specific tools, I think we can really begin to work together. I couldn't agree more with you. And there's plenty more information on the Kitagawa Europe website. From the three of us, thank you so much for watching the Kitagawa Europe Focus channel. And we'll uh, see you again next time. <laughs>